Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the second video for chapter two. This is a continuation of the example of the simplest diet problem. So in the previous video, we have used a graphing method and we draw the, what we called the feasible region. And now we consider the cost function. So the cost function is written here. It's a linear relation, a function of a and b. And we like to understand the following. Let's say I'm given a constant, call it capital K, and I want to find out the, the region or the line or the curve in the AB plane such that the cost function equal to this constant K. That means I'm dealing with this equation here. And since this left-hand side is a linear expression, we know that it's a straight line. And the slope of the line is exactly um, 10 over 8 and take the negative value of it, which is negative 0.8. So the slope goes down. Okay? And then for different k values, you will just have parallel lines. They all have slope negative 0.8 but they are parallel to each other. Now let's take a look at the graph. Okay, so here is the graph of uh, something we called uh, the level sets or contour lines for this function. And they are all straight lines with the same slope, so are parallel to each other. And we see that if we kind of a hold this line and uh, move it in a parallel way upwards in the first quadrant, then the A value, B value will be increasing and therefore the K value is increasing. So if I move up, the K will increase and the cost will be larger. And if I move, choose a line that's lower and lower and lower, then the cost gets smaller. Okay, now it's time to put the cost function level set over the feasible region, which is represented here on this graph. So the gray area is the feasible region. Every point in this region satisfies all the constraints. And these lines in purple, they are lines along all these lines. The feasible function is a constant. And we also know if I move lower on the lower line, the cost will be smaller. Therefore, the goal now is to, you can think of, you hold a line like this with a fixed slope, and then you move it lower and lower and lower, and the cost gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you just touch the feasible region. Here you can see it will become this red dot at the corner, at the vertex. At that point, the cost function will have a minimum value. Now we can have our conclusion. We know now that at this corner point with the coordinate A is 0, B is 58.3, which we computed earlier, that is the minimum point where the cost function has the minimum value. And to find this minimum value, all we need to do is to put the coordinate into the cost function and do the computation. So A is 0, B is 58.3, so I just have 10B, which gives me 583 cents. So that is the solution for the mathematical problem. We can try to translate it back into plain English, into the model that we started with, the diet model. So what does that solution say? So the solution says, if you only eat apples and bananas with the given information, with the price and the nutrients and uh, and you want to minimize your cost 
you will be only eating bananas. So, haha. Um, why is that a reasonable choice for you to do? Well, so you all know bananas are cheap, right? And and it's quite rich with nutrients. So that's your optimal choice. So congratulations, you have just solved your very first linear programming problem. Let's summarize a bit. Okay, so after we have done one problem and we solved one problem, let's make some observations. So we see that all our constraints are linear, that is, the boundary of the problems are all straight lines. And therefore, for the feasible region, the border will be straight lines. And second, we see that the cost function is also linear or affine. That is, it has a linear relation to the variables. So under these two conditions, we observe from our example that the minimum, which is the optimal point here, is achieved at a corner of this domain defined by all the constraints, aka we call it the feasible region. So these observations seems like an observation for just one specific example but I want to put in a seed here to say that this, these, all of these will actually be rather general observations. Okay, so keep this in mind as we go on.